Hopefully everybody's aware that this Sunday brings Valentine's Day, and it got me thinking about another list. Last week it was great TV sitcom themes. This week, with Valentine's Day fast approaching, it is favorite romantic comedies, movie rom-coms. So since Valentine's Day is the 14th, I decided on 14 of my very favorite rom-coms in no particular order. The oldest on my list is, well, it's the highest grossing movie released in 1967, The Graduate, starring a young young Dustin Hoffman, plus the lovely Catherine Ross and Anne Bancroft. Loved it. I chose one from the following decade. Also, I know it may not be particularly correct or politically correct to choose a film by Woody Allen these days, but 1977's Annie Hall remains one of my all-time favorites. The late 1980s then brought us three great ones, the classic Moonstruck, starring Cher, plus the great Say Anything, starring John Cusack, and then Rob Reiner's very funny When Harry Met Sally. The 1990s gave us a slew of terrific rom-coms like 1990's Pretty Woman and 1999's Notting Hill with Julia Roberts starring in both of those. In between, though, we got the underrated film The American President plus the wonderful Four Weddings and a Funeral and a movie that Glenn Mack now says is the best ever rom-com, Groundhog Day. John Cusack has a second great one on my list, 2000's High Fidelity, which also included an awesome soundtrack, by the way. And then three others from the early 2000s, The Hilarious, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, and a movie that I mentioned previously as being one of my favorite Christmas films, Love Actually. Plus, a very funny movie starring Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore, whose character has a strange case of amnesia, 50 first dates so there you go 14 great romantic comedies your assignment bill go watch all of them before this weekend uh i was going to say i've probably seen two of those maybe oh come on oh yeah who watches that stuff oh. <laughs>